Ford Falcons. My dad got one when I was about five, six years old. He got a uh, 1964 two-door hardtop Futura, and it was maroon. And he came and picked me up from kindergarten in the car. And I fell in love with the thing at first sight. I went in it and just loved the car and always wanted one. So I was really happy to find this, uh, this spring. This is my 1964 Ford Falcon Sprint. I got it when I was 15 years old for $500. Found this car, it was just a shell when I bought it, so I, I didn't even have $500 when I went to buy this car. So I actually gave the guy payments of $100. <laughs> so I gave him uh, $100 to start just to, uh, to hold the car. And then I ended up just paying him off and went and got the car, put it on a car dolly, drove back to Santa Cruz, put it in my mom's garage. She hated it. So I ground the whole body, interior and exterior, down to bare metal and did the body work on it. And then I had it painted. It took me a long time, you know, just being young and buying a project car like this. I didn't know really the direction I was going. It was kind of a father-son project car. So I really learned a lot about working on cars, just kind of the sequence you go. Now, in retrospect, if I could go back, I would do it a whole different way. But, you know, it was cool and I learned a lot. And it was fun, so I'm happy. And it's come a long way, and no one really thought that I would actually get it to the point where it's even at now, where it even drives. So it's cool. It's a, it's a money pit, you know, like all project cars are, but I'm having fun with it, and I'm going to keep it forever. probably dumped more money into this car than it's worth but the enjoyment I get out of it is definitely worth the money it's, it's just a project it's fun you know I mean the, the experience I got the connection I made with my dad you know this the knowledge I have of the cars the fun things I've done with it are worth it the engine is a whole nother story so I needed an engine for the car. It didn't have an engine or tranny or anything. So I knew a guy who owned a junkyard in Santa Cruz. So I actually worked for the guy at the junkyard to, there, he had a 1983 Mustang 5.0 that had an engine fire. So what I did was I removed about four engines out of some other cars to pay him off to get this engine. So it's not a new engine, but you know, it's a nice 5.0. So I worked, I pulled a few engines for him. He gave me this engine. What I have in here is a, it's a T5 out of a 1993 Mustang 5.0. Another cool addition this car has on it is, is a front disc brakes out of a Gran Torino, 70s Torino. So it really stops nicely. You know, it's not like an old car where you just have to put both your feet on the brake pedal. It actually stops when you push it. Another thing I did was I put a brake power booster out of a 1994 Geo Metro. It's kind of a weird conversion, but it actually works well. This is just, uh, it's a really nice driving car and it's a work in progress. And so the next move for me is kind of interior, clean up the engine, do a couple things. You know, I got it to the point where it rolls, it drives nicely, it kind of cruises around and, uh, you know, slowly but surely, making it a nice class of car. I've actually touched every part. I know exactly 
I know how hard I've tightened bolts underneath this car. I know where bolts are. I know the color, how worn down bolts are on this car. Touched it all, scraped the wheel off. And then there are feet mud out of there. Little crevices and sand in little areas that people don't even know are there. So it's kind of fun. Pretty intimate. 